Here we have Aquasonic's Amania test kit. The test kit, when you get it, it comes in a nice sturdy plastic container. When you open it up, you have the instruction manual. You have the test kit for putting in the water in the regents, and then you've got the regents. It fits all nice and neat in the container. So it's got a foam insert, so it just makes it nice and easy for them to sit in there. Now when you're around water, plastic's always a good idea of going, so that way it doesn't get wet, the box doesn't get ratty and fall apart on you. So it's a good durable product by Aquasonic, lasts you a long time, Australia made. Now with the test tube, Nice and simple. It's not a tall, thin test tube, so the thing that's good about this is that even if you do knock it about, if you drop it, it's not going to be something that's going to shatter, shatter like glass and break. A lot of the other test tubes that I've used in the past, they've been made of glass, and the problem with that is that they tend to fall over and break. So you have Region A, which is a powder form, and that's what you've got the little spoon for so that you can take the region out and put it in and then you've also got the liquid form which again it's just a matter of putting it in so all you've got to do is have it to the five mil mark being nice and round it's not easy to tip it over but it also makes it easier when doing the color checks so here's your color test and as you can see where it's got the section down here where it's in the yellow and the lighter green that's really where you want your water to be that's where it's going to be harmless for your fish as you go up in the scale of the green it'll be more in the harmful area and then in the deadly area so it, it is a really good idea to have an ammonia test kit so that you know that you've got a good environment for your fish and ammonia can come in a matter of a few different ways Ammonia can come in the form of where you've overfed the fish and when it breaks down from the overfeeding that can then develop into ammonia. The other thing is with fish waste or dead fish, a dead fish will also emit ammonia out of it. The other thing is if you're using tap water, a lot of the tap water has ammonia in it. It also has chloramine and with chloramine when it breaks down from chloramine into chlorine one of the byproducts is ammonia so you need to really be careful with the ammonia don't let it get too high great little test kit in order to know exactly where you're at the instructions again it's not paper it's done in a laminate so if you get that wet it's not going to fall apart, you're not going to be in strife and not know how to use it. Same with the actual case, done in plastic, you're going to be around water testing. So you need to have something that's going to handle the water. And it's just wraps up nice and easy. Where it all goes together nice and neatly. And kept nice and dry. So it's Australian made, done by Aquasonic, well known within the industry, great product, ideal for working out how your fish are being treated in the environment, make sure that they don't have exposure to high rates of ammonia where they it can cause them to die and a good idea to get a test kit and this is what, probably one of the best ones and easiest ones to use and Australian made, well worth a try. Thank you.